and welcome back to another video. Hopefully it's another short one. This is me throwing a short throw shifter into the all track that had its previous shifter just cut really low. So I'm trying to get some form of proper functionality back. With that said, I did some research and it seems like a sixth gen Celica shifter should work. I couldn't find one at the time. I got impatient and went on eBay and found a short throw shifter for a 6th gen Celica. So I'm going to try and put a short throw shifter from a 6th gen into my 4th gen Alltrack. With that said, let's take a look at the eBay special box. Okay, I have never installed a short throw shifter or any shifter for that matter except for the bolt-on plate on my uh, CD009 transmission. So, this is all new for me. I'm guessing there's not going to be a whole lot in this box. And from my understand, the shifter base, or the, the mount, whatever, that houses the shifter needs at least on some of the um, shifter kits I've read about, you need to lift the base up, I think. I could be wrong, I don't know, but wow. I really feel like they could have just shipped it in this box. Whatever. So let's cut that box. Yoink. Cut away, cut away from you. Okay. We have paper. We have not much. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, rip that open real quick. Maybe. There we go. Bubble wrap. And we're almost there. Hey, we're there. So what we have is a lever, shift knob. I assume that's the pivot thing, whatever, and that's the bottom. Um, then we have those little clips and this thing. Do I know what I'm getting into? No, but there's that. And then we have destructions. Thank you, yada yada. Um, yeah, you know, you're not gonna be able to see much, but I am now going to, uh, yeah, let's start dismantling what's in the car back there and uh, see what we can do. Just a small little show. This is what I was using. The little decorative piece fell off held in by one little Allen head thing because that's what I could find to fit over this cut. See, just cut. But, I don't know. Let's get to dismantling and uh, hopefully installing. Yeah. Sometimes I get so mad there's no control in me My thoughts get so bad I'm like I might grab a bat I don't know My wrath my blood boils over like Oh God here goes I lost all feeling from my head to my toes You said some shit that I can't let go So just stay tuned for the rest of the show So have you ever felt betrayed? Which is how you see things Realize something needs change Cause I know you got me f***ed up Let me show you what's up Enough is enough I'll take a face full of pavement Just to make a statement I know there's no turning back Oh God, adrenaline wasted So mad I can taste it I know there's no turning back I'll do what it takes I ain't making mistakes like that I'll play it on your face To make you go take it back I'll lose my shit I go crazy when I'm 
do, crack your hold or two. Heating up inside of me, blood so violently, thanks for trying me. Now it's finally time to see how this rivalry becomes a dynasty. Let's do a little bit of spot comparison as the mic is facing the wrong way. Here is the old shifter. Here's the new one. So really, actually, I'm not sure what the difference is. Um, I guess we'll find out. Uh, let's take this off real quick just so we can compare a little more. Okay, so the bottom of this goes just a little further down and the shifter, let's move that down. It's going to be about the same spot, just a smidgen lower. So, yeah, I guess we'll find out if it feels any better. Not the best of angles. So, uh, we'll come back when that is all reassembled and yeah i'll just cover what i had to do if there was anything out of the ordinary because judging by the fact that it's a little lower might have to raise up the base just a little bit so it clears the floor anyway with that said we'll be right back we have a small update i had tried to install the shifter leaving this in and it mostly had worked until you know you actually tried to use it the bottom ball where it cups in would hit up here and then couldn't go over into uh, reverse and fifth gear like the bottom of the ball while the bucket that's in hits this. So I'm going to go through, trim that out a bit, give it a little more freedom and I think that's all that's needed so uh, yeah let's get back to work. I just wanted to show, unfortunately with poor lighting, I cut out a lot, but we have uh, all the range needed, or so it seems. There we go. So yeah, had to cut a lot out. I also put on the bolts here, let's see, can I, anyway, let's, okay. On the bolts here, I also put a washer under each just for a little more space because I'd seen previous uh, info that people had to raise the base, but might have just been on a different shifter. I don't know, but that's where we're at. Let's uh, put the rest of this stuff together. Howdy, and welcome back to this video that I started months ago. Just now getting around to finishing. The short shifter has been in place for a few months. I've driven it a few times now. Uh, this is the first car I've ever had with an actual short shifter. So my comparison is maybe a little skewed. I don't know, or I don't know what to think. Um, so what I will show you is first, second, third, fourth, fifth, reverse. It feels a lot more precise than the original. I mean, the original is the truck shifter that we all have in the Azal tracks, and it had been cut to somewhere around here. Never felt right, was just weird. So, yeah, I put the 6th gen in here. I I have no complaints. I feel like it, it is... I feel like it's a good replacement. I mean, it works for me. It feels good. I, I mean, that's not much of a sh like from center, third, or fourth, or whatever. Third, second. Feels pretty good. I am happy with the change. I am probably going to get a different shift knob, something with a little more weight or a little bigger. I mean, I've got this gargantuous hand. Here's the shifter, so <laughs> I think I need a bigger one, but I am happy with this upgrade. This was a 6th gen short shifter into the all track. The biggest thing that I had to do was cut out the base of the piece underneath, like where the, the shifter ball, everything underneath goes. 
that was the biggest work of it. And I could have probably opened it a little more, but everything else was pretty straightforward. Grease it up. Yeah. So that's my journey here. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.